Jacoby Brissett in the first half of the season and in everything he did, I honestly believe looked like a guy that could lead a franchise for a long time. He was making plays and making throws that were not only making the Colts better, but making the Colts contenders. Now, in these last few weeks here, he's been making mistakes that he didn't make in the first half. Now, what do you account for being inexperienced? He's a young quarterback still. People forget that although he's a little bit older and he did just get paid a pretty good amount of money, the only real playing experience he has is when he showed up at a team 10 days before the season started with zero knowledge of the offense, zero knowledge of the team, got thrown into a terrible situation and lost, but won four games, but lost a lot of games. So now, what do you account for being inexperienced in his first time doing a full season? What do you account for not having his biggest weapon in T.Y. Hilton and not really many other weapons? What do you account for not having Marlon Mack? How about Paris Campbell, their high draft pick who hasn't really been around due to injury? What do you account for with all those things? Now, granted, he's made some decisions where I go, man, this guy, what is he thinking or what is he doing? But at the quarterback position, sometimes that's going to happen. I think Ballard will give him at least another year and then see what he can do, especially with an entire offseason knowing he's the guy, having the team know that he's the guy as opposed to the Andrew Luck thing. But begging Andrew Luck to come back, I don't think is going to happen uh, in the next hundred years for Chris Ballard. No, I think you should definitely keep Jacoby. I think he's shown enough yes. that he can be definitely a good starting quarterback in the NFL, and he didn't give up 38 points this week. They I need mean, to get healthy. There's no, t like you said, no T.Y. Like They're one in nine when T.Y. Hilton does not play. He's a weapon. And by the way, he's been the only weapon for a long time deep. Mm -hmm. Now, Jack Doyle makes a lot of plays. He just signed for 21 mil. Happy for him. Ebron's gone. A lot of people were saying they were surprised he decided to go on the IR, including uh, the coach, I guess, said. The Frank Reich said he did not know that was coming. Ebron has come out and said, well, he should have known I've been hurt since whatever. I mean, that's an interesting thing. He's probably going to move on, go somewhere else. I think that team is going to get built up potentially around Jacoby. Mm -hmm. I think he's going to have a good year next year. But, man, they got to win the close games. And sometimes a year like this of losing five, six very close games can harden you going forward. They have a young team chris bowers has built something good i think next year will be a jacoby percent good year personally I, i'm not 100 sure. i agree